Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, uh, one of the questions that came today, and that question, um, basically, there's no uh, quick answer to it, and it's different for everybody. So, of course, when you download updates, you go into your, you know, check for updates, and today's Patch Tuesday for security. And the question that came is, you know, why is this happening, and why is that happening? And an example of it was, well, you know, I get these downloads and then they freeze at one point or the downloading freezes at one point or why is it and why is, you know, um, is it happening? Well, first of all, this indicates one thing is that you got to stop looking at your updates. Stop looking at what they're doing and stop looking at the fact that they're stuck at one specific point. That's the worst thing you can do because they will install at the speed that they install. And the thing is, is each machine is different and internet connections for everybody is different. And there are many things that will make, you know, um, your updates stop at some point or another point or another point. One of the things first is the downloading side. Downloading has multiple factors that can freeze it at a specific point. You're downloading and it froze at a certain point. It doesn't matter. You can use your PC and do something else. Don't look at the download and stay there looking at it or worrying about it. It serves no purpose. It's going to download. Just leave it alone. And that can happen because it could be Microsoft servers that have too much work. And then there's going to be a pause in the download of the bits. It could be your internet service provider that has something that's happening. It could be your internet service that has issues. It doesn't show for most people, but there are a lot of internet service that are out there that people are connected to that aren't that great, that have a lot of flaws and a lot of problems with um, downloading streams of data. And it might not show. You might be going to see Google and looking at YouTube videos and you think, well, everything's perfect. But there's a lot of behind the scenes problems that can happen and Windows Update is vulnerable to that a lot. It could be your PC. It's doing something. There's maybe a, um, you know, one of the um, processes within your PC is occupied doing something else. Well, all of that can make the download stop. And also all of that, there's a lot that can happen also about the install phase once it's downloaded and it starts installing the this portion is also a portion where normally you shouldn't even be looking at it you should be using your pc doing something else so when that happens uh, basically you will actually get sometimes an install phase that can be stopped at one point once again a process in your pc can stop it something that's happening in your pc might freeze it for a while before it continues installing. It could be just occupied at doing something and the number might not even update while it is actually updating. So you might be stuck at install of 50%. It might be stuck there for 20 minutes, but in reality it's maybe at 70 or 80%. It's just that the number doesn't move. Doesn't mean your PC ain't doing anything. Uh, in the old days, what was cool is that we had hard drive lights. You could see the activity on a computer. Uh, today, most PCs don't have that anymore, so you're not sure what it's doing exactly. And that, well, makes it stressful for some. Once again, I say it so often. What you see and what happens in Windows Update, don't look at it. Just let it be. And at some point, there's going to be a restart, and at some point, it's going to be ready. Everybody's different. Everybody's different because of the power of the PC. You have an SSD or an old hard drive, your internet, what your PC is actually doing, the processes that are being used. Uh, just leave it alone. There's no explanation to be had about it. It's the way it is. And the last thing you want to do, is think that it's frozen and just shut down your PC in the middle of one of the processes. Worst thing you can do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.